Hello everyone, this is me again, back in Dark Souls for another exciting episode of Prepare to Die Serious. Um, hopefully we won't be dying. Um, I hope not. Um, well, we're going to head out to the Undead Bird and go fight another dragon in the bridge. And from there we're going to move on and try to... Sound one of the awakening spells. Um, hopefully, I can fight those two bosses and I don't run out of time. If not, I'll just kill that dragon and um, leave the next boss for the next episode. And hopefully, I can milk this serious. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, so let's get it. Gotta go through all this shit. Um, usually, I just stop in that little room and stop at the bonfire and leveled up. But I don't think I need to level up for this. I don't really want to fight anybody. I just want to go kill this boss. And see if I can get kill both of them. See what happens. Get my way up here. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, so I really don't know exactly like what to talk about. But We'll see. Let's kill this bastard. What the fuck? Bitch. Oh, damn, I almost died. Alright. So we'll kill them too. Head over here. Oh, oh no, look it, it's not a dragon. It's one of those big ass demons. Oh shit, let's go, let's go. Run, nigga! Shit. Wow, that looks so fake. I wasn't even close to him. This man, that was easy. All right, let's go. I wish all the bosses were that easy. What? They're not. Let's see. Oh yeah. Um, I wanted. To, I know. On, on the first episode, I said that. I wasn't going to turn human because uh, a lot of people invade and try to kill me and ruin my game. But um, if you guys want to see that type of action, having people invade me and, uh, you know, ruin my game, pretty much let me know and I will turn human. Um, also, when you turn human, you could, uh, what you say, um, when you turn human, you could... Um, summon other people to help you out fight bosses and do the co-op mode but um if not i'll just continue doing the solo and see what happens let's talk to this guy right here ah, hello you don't look hollow far from it i am soler of astora an adherent of the lord of sunlight now that i am undead i have come to this great land the birthplace of lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son you find that strange well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> Alright, so the reason I'm talking to this guy is because he gave me a white sign. Aha. Uh -huh. 
So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. And pretty much what that white sign does is I put it in the ground and people are able to summon me um, and I could help them in their story mode. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? Of course. This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. There you go. That's what I was talking about. Um, we are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits cross the gaps between the worlds and engage in jolly cooperation of course we are not the only ones engaged in this but i am a warrior of the sun spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura if you miss it you must be blind <laughs> all right so yeah that's the sign he pretty much told me what it was for and um yeah so you use that sign to summon other players or have other players summon you uh, I hope I don't die doing this oh shit and there's that dragon alright I'm gonna see if I could try to make it across Gonna take a little while. It's gonna take a little while because if I try to run over there, he's gonna like spam me with his fire breath and cook me. I mean, to barbecue or something. Come on, get out of there. Yes, I made it. Oh, so pro, nigga. All right. Well, that worked in my favor. All right, let's go. Um, let's rack up on um. You know what? Let's just say that for now. I'm not gonna rank up. Just to let you guys know, I'm, I'm skipping a lot, a lot of freaking things. Um, there's like little mini bosses around that I could kill, but I'm deciding not to right now. <clears throat> just want to kill the main bosses and later on I come back and kill them when I'm a little bit stronger. Oh, damn it. Come on, come on, come on. I gotta run. I gotta run. I gotta make it over there. No! Oh my god, that was fucking... That was a failed. I gotta go down here. Damn it. I wish I didn't mess that up. But I got that other freaking guy hitting me earlier and messed me up. Alright. Well, might as well now that I'm here. 
try to kill that fucking. Ooh. Come on, come on. Follow me, piggy. Follow me, piggy. What the hell are you doing here? Oh my god. There you go. Alright, so he's out of the picture. Damn, another one. He'll come at me and burn himself. Of course, he'll get stuck in there, man. He usually gives me like a like a helmet when I kill him. I guess this time I didn't get it. Alright, well, since that fucker closed that gate right there, I'm gonna have to go all the way around. Making shit more complicated. Oh, you're not dead yet? What the hell? I have to go all the way around. I'm going to make it to the blacksmith. Oh my god. Oh well guys, well, I wanted to really make it to the blacksmith. And, um, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, and I'm gonna go all the way back to Firelink. Yes. Nope, I'm not. I'm gonna go back to, yes, this place. Well, guys, I think I ran out of time. I'm gonna leave it right here. Um, and for the next episode, I'll be killing the third boss, ringing the first bell of Awakening, and moving on for the second bell. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys want me to do if you guys want me to turn human or if you want me to still stay undead hollow um yeah until next time fireman is out